up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the show we're getting ready to have a pretty busy day today i got a bunch of little stuff i need to run around and do we'll see how it goes i'm flying solo today kids didn't want to get up heaven didn't want to come with me so <laughs> Got the goods. Also got some gloves and some shop tails. Now headed to the shop. I uh, was gonna go wash my truck. I'll probably do that later. Sometimes we go to the car wash as a family. It's kind of fun. Got I can spray the girls and make them all scream and run. Pretty funny. So also, I don't know if you noticed, the hat they didn't turn out the way I exactly wanted them. But they're still pretty nice. The hat is the classics snapback and uh, they fit pretty good. They just, the, the patch didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So whatever, but uh, we're going to have these for sale. Hit me up if you want one. It's just basically the way we're doing it right now. I've got a pretty small run of these and uh, the price is going to be around. 35 bucks plus shipping so shipping shouldn't be much so i would say under 40 dollars pretty high quality hat and uh we can get you fixed up and then as far as cars go the uh van is still in texas i left the trailer came back with out the trailer or the van so Hopefully, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after that, we have a car show here in town, a local show that they do every year. And hopefully, somebody in my family will bring the car up <laughs> so that I can put the van in that show. And then I also have my car trailer so I can start on the next one. Now, I haven't really talked about this, but I've got some pretty big plans as far as what my next build's gonna be. This video, you're gonna see a sneak peek of what the engine's gonna look like. Kind of give you a an idea of kind of the theme we're going for. This thing over and see what we're working with here these are just 317 heads just stock stuff that was on it um, everything about this motor was stock and then uh, like I said it started knocking then it started not oiling the top so I don't know what's going on the kit that I bought him the brand new oil pump and I'm gonna get another one of the hot rod seals I'll have to have that the low pro or seals hot rod oil pans rather uh, I'll need the low profile one to go on it. Um, that's another hint. She's gonna be low. But while I've got it up like this, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this rear cover off and get it out of the way and the gasket and everything. Uh, because when this is bolted to the stand, I'm not gonna be able to get to all these bolts. So I'm gonna get those pulled off and then I'll probably run to the parts house to get some bolts because I'm tired of having to like look for bolts and make spacers and do all that craziness dun, 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 dun. there's one but it's pretty long so I need it to be about three quarters of an inch shorter than that so I don't have to use spacers I could probably cut it off I might do that. I might cut that one off, but that doesn't leave us much thread sticking out. So I don't know. May just run this up. Get a quick measurement and run this up to the parts house. Or try to spot, see if I can find it. They're metric bolts though, so that's what we're running into. It's hard to find metric bolts for some reason. It's like not like every car manufacturer for the last 30 years has been using metric bolts on everything but still nobody carries them it's just like nobody carries 
no parts house carries stuff for LS's, for LS swaps, you know? Like, you go in and try to get a set of header bolts for an LS and they're like, well, we don't have those, those are metric. I'm like, yeah, granddad, do you realize how many people LS swap stuff now? Nobody's buying small block header bolts. Nobody's buying a set of small block headers. They're all getting this stuff. So, anyways, that's my uh, second rant for the day. Parts houses don't stay open on the weekends. And they don't carry LS stuff, which is a pain because then you got to order it. It ends up making everything take longer because you got to order it. Then you got to wait on it. Then when it comes in, sometimes it's wrong. It's a joke. It's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm in a good mood today. So, again, measure bolts, go get bolts, come back, put it on, rip this bad boy apart. four bolts and go figure they had three so I'm gonna still have to use one of the jacked up bolts for now but we got three and I can stick them in the toolbox after I'm done with them and hopefully keep them for a while and I always have engine stand bolts I also got paint for the engine block and some tape for when I start taping that thing off and uh, I don't know, they didn't have a couple of the colors I needed. But we got the base color. Right over there. So now we're headed back to the shop. And then hopefully we can actually get some work done. And just kind of running this morning. A little crazy. Also, I really need to put a starter on this truck. It's going to leave me stranded one of these days. It just took me five tries to get it started at the parts house. So I'll probably order a starter today too. And you'll get to see me do that sometime next week. We're back. There was a uh, apparently a parade getting ready to start in town. So kind of had to take the scenic route getting around. But we're back. Do you want to see what color I'm painting the engine? Boom. And so this is farm and implement paint. I looked up and said it was supposed to be good for like 200 something degrees. So I was like, it'll be fine. It's just the engine block. You can barely see any of the engine block when it's in anyways. I just want it done so that the part you can see looks good. So I got that. Also got the bolts. About to get this bad boy put up on the stand and then uh, we'll get started. So. that off I was looking at the head this was stuck in the head above this cylinder here I still got the time lapse set up so I don't want to carry that over but I will carry the head and show you never mind those bolts you can see right here is where this was stuck Like that right there. The piston, apparently that went down in the intake and the piston hit it and drove it up into the head. And it just beating the crap out of itself. Luckily, I say luckily, it's really not luckily, but it was stuck in the same spot. And you can see the piston's just been hitting in the same spot. There's only one mark 
from the top of the piston from this. I'll show you that in a little bit after I get these heads and stuff off. Both heads and the top end off. I'll move this and show you, but you gotta be careful. Apparently this somehow got sent down in the head. I don't even know what it is. It's some sort of clip. I don't even know. I don't know where it's from or anything, but I mean, that kind of stuff happens if you're not careful. Apparently I wasn't careful when I was uh, taking this thing apart and putting it back together, but yeah, and it just goes to show you something little simple like that can make a serious problem. So do better than me, be careful. To an errand day i'm trying to sell the camaro i don't even know if i've talked about the camaro on here or not but i had a i bought a 92 b4c 1le police car and i was gonna build it and then i decided not to then i decided to then i decided not to again so right now it's for sale i'm trying to trade it for an s10 or something but we're gonna go take some pictures of that so i can get the ad updated and then if I can get it out, we got the trailer with us. We're going to load that bad boy up and get it out of here. We got boy. We got a bigger boy. Uh, boy. And Joe's back. So we're going to go out here and see how muddy it is. I don't think we're going to be able to get it out, but if we can, we will. We'll see. All right, boys, we're here. I think I can make it through all this pretty easy. Oh, we're going to be walking for two days to get there. Yep. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to get through that. Guess I probably can if I stick over here to the right. What do you think, boy? What do you think about that blue car? There's actually three things back there. I see that. What do you think about the blue one? Hey, do you recognize... Whoa! Oh, trick, cool bro. trick, bro. You okay? Yeah. Hey, do you recognize that blazer? <laughs> Where have you seen that blazer before? Oh, yeah. I recognize it. Where is it from? The saw. In, in that. Which hook is? No. Don't shoot. All right. I think we can get out here. I gotta take some pictures of this. I think we can get in here though to get this. I'm gonna try it anyhow. Hopefully I don't get stuck. And if I do, I'll have to be coming out and doing some dirt work.
as you can see, we got her loaded up. It was pretty slick. I was uh, doing a lot of spinning. But we got her and I didn't cut too many ruts. And uh, if she's not happy with the way it looks, I'll go back and fix it. No worries. All right, I went to the car wash. We got some of the mud washed off of this thing and washed off. So now I gotta get some pictures taken. I gotta get some pictures sent out to these two or three people that wanna see this thing and uh, try to get her sold. And if she sells, we'll move on to the next one. I think you're gonna really like the next project. Uh, we've got two. I'm starting on one that's gonna be like a long-term build for LS Fest next year. And I got another one that I wanna do in the meantime that's gonna be super neat, super cool. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but it is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna get some pictures taken and we'll see where this day takes us. I gotta go tomorrow morning and deliver this. It's a couple hours away. Uh, I've got it sold. And then uh, <clears throat> we're gonna be hopefully picking up another project maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, that's where we're at on the Camaro now. I'm done for the day. We're about to take the children up to the local water park and we'll dive back into some of this stuff tomorrow. All right, dudes, this just goes to show you right here. I always leave the winch hooked up. Hang on, let me get this camera sorted out. So I always leave the winch hooked up to these cars when I'm hauling them and you'll see why. The strap just broke on the front. So I don't care if the car comes forward, I would rather it come forward because it can hit the truck and that's my property i don't want to hurt nobody else but uh yeah that wouldn't have been good if i wouldn't have had the winch hooked up this would have rolled off the back because there's not a drive shaft or anything in there and that would have been catastrophic it would have either made me crash or made somebody else crash or both which would have been insane so keep a safety on your cars when you're hauling them you never know what's going to happen we didn't turn the red truck into a school bus. We sold the red truck. And then I uh, also sold the Camaro. You see my truck's out there with no trailer on it. The guy just bought it. No hassling or anything, just brought out cash. And then uh, I just been here. I put a new regulator and stuff on my welder. It's kind of a weird video. We're kind of between builds. Didn't have a lot going on right now, but I do have cash. I'm looking for my next project. I know what I want to get. Uh, now it's just a matter of finding one. Uh, but coming up, we've got us finishing the LS build. I've got to go pick up what that's going in. It's already local. It's already mine. I just got to go pick it up and bring it here and uh, get that project started. I may just use the money that I have now to get parts for that so I can get that further along without having to jump into my bill money. Um, but yeah, we're going to see. We'll either do get something else to do like a Will It Run style stuff. I'm really looking for one pretty hard. I found a couple here in town I wanna to stop and ask about. Or we'll go get that project and we'll start on it either way. Uh, I'm gonna to try to work on this and get this video done tonight and get it posted, which is Sunday. And then Monday we'll start on a new week and uh, try to get some stuff knocked out for you guys. But anyways, I know this was a weird video. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Those of you that have subscribed, thanks so much. And uh, we'll continue to do the damn thing, as they say. We'll see you on another video later. Thanks.